Welcome to Soviet Kitchen! Today I am going to show you how to make a very Soviet dish Herring under the coat It is a very weird dish, it looks very weird, it's a strange concept But despite of that we all love our Herring under the coat We make it for every celebration It is a celebration dish Herring under the coat a truly a child of Red Revolution. It emerged in 1919 and it was a symbolic dish. A carrot was a favorite food of proletariat. A carrot, a potato, an onion, it is a food of a peasants. Remember Soviet Union, it is a union between proletariat and the peasants. And red beet, of course, the color of red communism. And mayonnaise. Mine is supposed to remind us, Soviet people, about the nasty trade of foreign enemies. You know, because mine is French. It's not like we had anything against French people, but just in general, you know, like everybody who is foreigner was not welcomed. So, today I am going to make this beautiful dish and very delicious too. Prepare your boiled potatoes, carrots and beets before you start cooking your salad. Today actually I'm not going to make a herring under the coat, but I will make a salty salmon under the coat. It is my compromise for my American friends who doesn't really like a herring as much as I do. Cut salmon in small pieces. It's best not to add too much mayonnaise, but equally spread it out across the layer. I am not going to add mayonnaise to onions because it is a very thin layer. Use a medium grater to grate beets and carrots. On God, Toreador, Toreador, a soldier bien, we soldier combatant, Colonel Noir Terregard, a Colonel Mortator, Toreador, Lamour, Lamour Tator. Beet layer is done, we can use a decoration. And in my opinion, it really needs some decoration. It looks kind of weird. So, usually we use eggs and dill and stuff like that. But because today we have such a bourgeois ski uh, saladka, I'm going to use pomegranate and walnuts. So once the salad are all beautiful and decorated, we can put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. So all the mayonnaise get sucked in into the layers. It's really 
going to be delicious, especially tomorrow. Ah, uh, Simon, uh, the cot is ready now. I've been trying some and I'm very happy. It's turned out to be very gentle, very elegant in taste. I actually think that this bourgeois salad is also perfect for celebrating any American holidays.